Hello guys, just now I finished watching WWDC which is the Apple event that happens every year where they give a lot of updates on their software and OS and multiple things. I'm just going to share you the summary of whatever I liked in about this event and the updates today. The most important thing today that was released is the Vision OS and the Vision Pro which is like a VR headset. As usual, we know there are plenty of VR headsets exist, but is this the similar Apple story? So we knew there were plenty of music players existed and we used in different sizes and shapes. But once iPod came through, it changed the complete way we listen to music, mainly because it gave us a complete experience, blending phone, blending the computer and the headset. Similarly, there were so many devices before iPhone came into play. Even there were touch screens, there were even better displays, so many other uh, better apps as well. But once iPhone came in, the experience was completely different because they gave something that is realistic. And that has an ecosystem which supports that iPhone. So not everything is separate. Like they gave a complete ecosystem to su support the phone. And that is why the experience was completely different. Similarly, now. We have plenty of VR headsets, we have played VR games in various malls and other places. But this VR headset is a complete experience. That is what I felt when I saw the WWDC. The most important striking feature is that so it makes use of everything. Like whatever experience they had in iPhone, whatever the experience they had in watch, everything they made use of it and they are giving a complete package. And the best OS, so they have created a new OS for this one and a new chip like R1 and a new OS called Vision OS for this one. Okay, what is so different in this one? The very first thing was... Uh, they have introduced something called eyesight. Like in all the other virtual reality headset we have, it is completely opaque. You cannot see what the other person is seeing or doing, other you cannot interact with them in real time. So if you see, it will be like full blank white color. But here they have introduced something called eyesight. So which like face ID or face uh, recognition, it is like it recognizes your entire face and it projects an image in front. So that is the technology they call it eyesight. That was really different. Oh my God. So I thought it is going to change the way we interact with people. We can watch something at the same time we can interact with them as well. But there are some disadvantages to virtual reality headset. So it is not like as immersive as they tell us, but the same thing happened in iPhone. Nobody believed that a touch screen will change the world, but they did it. Similarly, I feel definitely virtual reality, uh, who cares, we already have so many monitors. Are they going to replace a monitor with one big projector screen, which has three, four panels? Eh, it never works. It's what we feel until we really see it. So once we see it, yes, we might switch to virtual reality headset in the future. So is this the future? Maybe. The way they explained was as if it is completely new, right? When you see and you move your eyes, the icons come to life. It's already there. In Samsung virtual reality headset also, you'd see that. You move and you blink and it opens the app. It's nothing new. But I think bringing everything together like gaming work cinema and every experience together might convince us to take the step to buying the reality yes. headset so it is very costly it is mentioned that 3499 us dollars i think with price taxes it will come to around 3800 us dollars or like 4500 canadian dollars which is huge amount we have to spend but have you ever imagined you will spend 1500 dollars for a phone not in 2007 or 2008 for sure But they are well and truly convincing us that this virtual reality headset is the future and you are getting a piece of the future for just $3,500. Um, the virtual reality headset is not releasing now. It is releasing only next year in US and probably late in the end of next year, 2024 end across the world probably. Uh, if I get the chance to try the virtual reality headset somewhere, I'll definitely try and give a video on that, how the experience is. Usually it is, it's immersive, but I cannot continuously see that in virtual reality for more time but maybe apple changed it maybe they will convince us that we have to see in the videos that are coming up 
so for vision os what is the potential for the future okay should i buy this version and should i buy i wait and buy the next one yes there is ton of potential so now it is only for individual viewing individual experience so what they will do next probably they will pair another virtual reality headset together with this one and it will give you a family viewing experience one movie it will stream across all the headsets and you can continuously watch and it will give you a complete experience and you can play games with your family using this virtual headset and it will be more you can creating a virtual work environment also so if most of the people are working from home and this can everyone has a headset and a common agenda is being presented and you can be like you are in a real time experience so many potential is there but everything we have to wait and watch okay so overall today summary is that ios 17 has transformed the iphone into an alarm clock through an always on display and it sounds the death knell for alarm clocks no more alarm clocks no more designer alarm clocks everything is there in iphone the next one is they mentioned that they have a big screen mac they have a big home pod airbird everything everything is going to be replaced by the vision os so for spending each and everything so you can buy one vision os and you'll get everything in one shot if you got a new tv a big one 75 inches 80 inches good luck to you so this might be the end of the tv as well so we might not have no more tvs no more projectors the vision pro might replace it all and apple might convince us to replace everything you have to wait and watch how the vision pro is if i get a hands on experience definitely i'll let you know in the next video or in the videos coming soon thank you for watching canadian fables keep watching and have a great day